This is going to be a quick overview video of the turbocharged Genma 254 tractor. Uh, did this over the summer and just finished up the wiring today. Uh, so it's got a little uh, turbocharger off of eBay here and then we put a, a wastegate on there which actually costs the same amount as the turbo. It has a Y385 engine in there, it's one and a half liters and it makes boost only under load which is uh, good. It has a lot more power than it used to so uh, you're not stressing out the engine with uh, boost when it doesn't need it. So we did uh, quite a few modifications on it, of course adding the turbocharger and uh, we had an electric uh, radiator fan, upgraded the crappy stock uh, alternator which didn't work with a 80 amp Bosch alternator off of a junked car. And then the turbo oil drain is uh, drilled into this uh, push rod cover and it just drains right to the crankcase from there uh, using the same old exhaust manifold. I just welded up a pipe adapter uh, thing onto a flange and cut out a flange for the turbo and bolted it up. We added a magnetic uh, tachometer pickup right here so that we can get a attack reading. And then we cranked up the fuel on the injector pump uh, which is underneath that little cap right there. We relocated the battery from its original location which was right here in front of the radiator blocking 70% uh, of the radiator uh, airflow. Now we relocated that back here to sit on this fender with this easily made uh, battery case out of some angle iron. And there is the 840 cold cranking amp battery. And then there's some massive uh, battery cable which just runs down along here up to the starter motor and then uh, the alternator goes right down here uh, to the main battery line and we also added a uh, fuel level sender right there for a uh, fuel gauge and then put a little breather on there and then for oil feed I tap off of the oil supply right here and uh, we can adjust the pressure using that and then the oil line right here goes up to the pressure gauge and then this other oil line uh, goes over to feed the top of the turbo. We also have another oil line coming right from here which goes to the engine oil pressure gauge. So two oil pressure gauges and then the line right here going to a boost gauge so we can watch uh, pressure. Then we added an electric coolant temperature sender unit right there. Here's all the mess of wiring back here. So we have a, a power terminal over here and a, a negative terminal bank over there uh, to chain everything off of and I've tried to zip tie everything up so that it's uh, not too messy. Wired a bunch of stuff up and uh, did some wire loom. Uh, it's temporary exhaust right now and up here are all the new gauges so it's got a tachometer and then the boost and turbo pressure uh, coolant let me go ahead and turn the key on there there's a uh, coolant temperature exhaust gas temperature and then voltage engine oil fuel and then there's the glow plug button and then that light turns on when the glow plugs are Turn on, and then if I flip that switch, then the lights come on for the gauges. And then there's the radiator fan control and a little accessory for it.